And we've got Matt Borez and Emulsifier from Columbus, Ohio. An amazing 26 and 5 record with 23 KOs. He's been the world champ twice. And Brandon Bennett Young from Bowie, Maryland with an 11 and 3 record and 7 KOs. He is the reigning All Stars champion. That is a matchup of uh, absolutely epic proportions here. Both uh, consummate competitors and uh, champions in their own right. There are no losers here. It's just a question of who takes home the ultimate gold today. You know, I often five, forget four, that Emulsifier three, is technically two, a part of the one, Ohio contingent. Five, robots five. Technically correct. Oh, that was a great start by Vorion and a little bit of a flub by Emulsifier. Yeah. Trying to get around to the side of Vorion and get a hit on that juicy side panel. These angles are very nice. careful driving. Oh, and that mini, both mini bots coming into play here. Now, Emulsifier has two partner robots, so one of those could help free it, yeah. while the other one is high-centering Vorion. I don't know if he's able to get out from underneath. Yeah, look at that. Oh, interesting. Is Emulsifier it? is actually hung up on something else in this arena. I can't tell what. No. And now Vorion's partner is trying to get the mini-bot from Emulsifier out from underneath Vorion. The dynamics they here are nuts. Yeah, there should be an unstick for both of these robots, because apparently, yeah, the time period has oh, passed by. Oh, beautiful. Okay, so now they're both wow. moving mobile. Vorion taking full advantage, getting in on the side plate, and this is the dance. They're coming in on the angle. This is exactly where Brendan Bennett Young wanted to be at this point in the matchup. He's that getting weapon. closer and closer to that drive belt. Yeah, this that... is so sketchy. This could have gone the opposite way. Look at both of these with short bots coming in. This is really where Brandon's going to struggle is when they get in and get underneath and high center of giving of, of giving emulsifier the shot. Oh, this is right on the edge, folks. Oh my good, look at that. The fourth is, yes, Boy, this is hard. hard. He's got that self writer. He's got the self writer. Did the self writer just come off though? No, it's still there, but that robot is not. Oh, oh. what a huge hit. No. Smoke coming from the robot, folks. This could be the end of Vorion. Yeah. Brandon is, is trying, it's working, but it's going up against the wall. It doesn't look it's like it's able to get the full range of motion. We are going for a count out, but if that robot, yeah, oh, oh, there it is. It's so painful. This fight is so tense. The house robot is trying to uh, free Vorion despite the efforts of Emulsifier. There it goes! Oh, nice. All right, but, back but it's free! Wheels. Now you can see that one fork is uh, bent down. That's gonna be a lot of problem for Vorion. Yeah, and I believe we are counting that unstink as having completed yeah, previously, which means that Vorion stays where Vorion lays. And this will be going to a knockout for Emulsifier. Your winner wow. of the March 30 pound bracket is Emulsifier. They will be moving on with a top seed to the finals and the championship at the end of this year. Brandon Bennett Young taking home a well earned but undoubtedly disappointing second place in the March 30 pound category.